Okay, so uh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to another uh, episode of The Corporate Slave. This is the Learn From The Best series. So I am truly honored today uh, Well, to have my guest. Uh, he's been in the industry for 25 years and uh, well, in terms of uh, being one of the successful recruiters in the industry. Uh, he's been uh, doing that role for more than 18 years now. So, uh, I've been recruited by David before. And, yun nga, medyo nakaka-intimidate kasi yung last name niya eh. So, uh, name is David Hoffer. I remember when I got a call from him, him talagang full English ako kasi kinabahan talaga ako dahil nung kumbaga nakaka ano yung kanyang last name eh talagang it's uh, kumbaga Hoffer nako Amerikano to tas coming from an American company rin so talagang really uh, well it's really an honor and uh, maga welcome welcome David to the channel <laughs> Thank you. Uh, kamusta? Thank you for guesting me. Oh, marami tayong uh, pwede pag-usapan. Mga, mga nakakatawang story din about recruitment. Actually, yung last name ko, advantage siya in a way. Especially before, yung wala masyadong video chat, hindi ako nakikita. Yeah. So, pag nag-text lang or nag-call lang, oh. introduce ko yung sarili ko over the phone. Parang even uh, high-profile candidates, medyo kinakabahan sa akin. Eh. Oo, oh, <laughs> talagang siyempre. Pero, yun. <laughs> Naging advantage siya in a way. Yep. So, kumbaga, on a ballpark figure, sa tingin mo, how many people have you processed or have you interviewed? Oh my. Um, <laughs> with my 18 years experience, hindi ko na, hindi ko na siya mabilang. Hindi, wow. naman, hindi ko na masabing million, no? Pero I think more than, I don't know, hundreds or two hundred uh, people na yung nakausap ko wow. uh, and some of which oh, syempre may portion dun na na-hire na din sila yeah. na bigyan na ng uh, opportunity pero with with the 16 years background or 18 years background alone as marami yun kasi hiring one em, uh, one uh, employee only would most probably take me to talk to say around 20 aside wow. from the 20 I gathered resumes maybe another 30 more wow. so ang daming names kaya medyo hirap ako magtanda ng lahat ng pangalan <laughs> sobrang daming pangalan na pinaprocess ko na daily basis eh. so oh, wow. yun siya so grabe grabe pala no? talagang mahirap yung work ng isang recruiter so well can you give me a uh, well kumbaga yung experience mo ano ba yung uh, hardest na recruit that you, ha you had to go through yung, yung process nun <laughs> Well, um, how should I say this? Um, with recruitment, I started really from, ano, from the basic. Um, I started being a phone screener muna. Okay. Just to talk about the the steps that I took in, in becoming uh, one of the leaders for recruitment. Okay. Um, phone screener meaning, bigyan ka ng 100 resume, scan mo siya, then pagka interested ka dun sa profile, <laughs> you give them a call uh, early morning around 8 and sometimes pag hindi sumasagot, they have to go back and call them again in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, so, nagsimula ako ng ganon, siguro it took me about a year, uh, a year in, in that kind of role. And then eventually, I was offered for uh, sourcing, uh, sourcing position a different company, a headhunter. Okay. Uh, ito naman yung kami yung nag-gather ng mga ipoprocess na mga phone screeners. Okay. So, um, I, I took a lead in sourcing before. Uh, and daming strategies na ginawa namin. Uh, okay. Even flyering, I, I've done that. Yung tatayo ka sa tabi ng tahok vendor kasi <laughs> uh, way back one of my oh, one, one of my Talaga? ano, my, my ah. role is to get people from the call center. Ah, okay. Eh, ang, ang point is ano yung pinupuntahan nila after their shift? Okay. Um, ano yung it's either you go to the nearest um, ano to? Yung 24 ah, hour uh, store na okay. open. Oh, okay. Pero napansin namin is either they go for a lugaw okay. or they go for a tahok <laughs> vendor. So tatayo kami sa tabi ng tahok <laughs> vendor Doon kami nagpa-flyering. Nagpa wow, so, hindi na kami paikot-ikot na Makati kasi minsan sinisita bawal eh. Ah, so, that okay. was way back. 
Uh, tapos after that, uh, I was able to lead a team uh, for recruitment already. Okay. So it's name full blown. I do interviews, final interviews, and so on. And then I was given an opportunity to work for the same company as uh, I, where I met you. Okay. Then kuna tuto mo paano mag uh, technical recruitment. Okay. So and then ako hindi ko alam ko ano yung ano yung C sharp dot net. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko alam ko ano yung Java yung ano. So kasi hindi naman ako technical person. Eh, okay. Pero uh, the, the good thing about recruitment kasi is you ask questions I see. and and when you ask questions they supply you with with answers and somehow it makes sense that you try to you put one piece and another piece and it will make sense if it okay. makes sense this person is actually uh, a, a good person for the role kasi alam niya sinasabi niya and then eventually you you base it on the JD also okay um doon mo ma, ma, ma realize na okay i have a good candidate i like i like this person's skills and everything the way he explains uh his background okay let's move to the next stage it might be an assessment or it might be an interview with the hiring manager and so on okay. um siya, so ngayon may mga uh, tao na rin ako na na lead in in the team okay tapos uh, i'm i'm in charge of from time to time in charge of changing the process creating some policies and procedures okay um ano pa ba and maintaining some vendors kasi syempre um if you're in a company sometimes and down in requirement and the team yes. is only a small team yeah. so you need the help of a supplier okay so i'm also in charge of uh, maintaining a good relationship with them you know making sure that they know the job openings and how to recruit for okay. the roles that we have uh, okay. maintaining partnership with our internal clients also so medyo lumaki na yung scope and until today um medyo ganun lang naman siya doon lang siya umiikot okay. uh if you're gonna create something an innovation that's good like right now i think lumalabas yung mga chatbot, lumalabas yes. yung um, um, applicant tracking system yes. and so on. Wow. That will make a recruiter's life a little bit simpler. Pero okay. if you're really gonna think about it, uh, marami pa rin task na kailangan pagdaanan before you hire somebody. Yeah. Uh, one of the challenge ngayon na, na experience ko is yung, kasi ang daming technology eh. And, yes. and when we talk about technology, um, Alam ko when I, when when I was with 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 you in that company, I'm only hiring for C sharp C plus plus. Yes. That and so on. Ngayon meron ng meron ng Hadoop, meron ng um, uh, yeah. ano ba to Hadoop? Medyo nahirapan ako doon kasi okay. bago siya. Uh, now now may agile na pumapasok. Okay. Uh, bago din siya. So okay. if we're gonna look at the experience of the the applicant, medyo, if we're gonna think about it, medyo one year, one year and a half, but they want a solid background. So, medyo challenging. Tapos, yung technology na meron siya ngayon, and then yung gusto ng um, hiring manager, dapat present sa isang applicant, pero if we're really gonna think about it, medyo impossible siya in one profile ngayon. <laughs> oh, Di ba, ano yung ganun? Yes, oh. Sina tatawa ka? So, kasi alam ko, hiring manager ko na eh. Ito yung idea mo na oh. ma-hire mo. Gumagawa siya ng ganito, at sumagawa siya ng ganito, pero pag tinignan mo lang yung market, impossible. mamimili ka lang. Yes, correct. Para, mamimili ka lang. It's either advantage siya sa kanya, may background siya, na yung idea okay. nito. Bigyan mo siya ng opportunity to learn from within. Yeah. Pero kung hindi, yun yung yun ang mahirap yung yung mga technology and skills pag samahin mo sa isang they call it hybrid eh yes, hybrid correct. isa sa mga words na medyo scary yan pagdating uh, sa recruitment we uh, want yung, a hybrid ano, yung, applicant we yung want full a, stack full like, stack yata eh. I think it's pretty much the same thing no full stack and hybrid so siguro mm-hmm. being a technical recruiter and being a yung bulk sa, sa call center recruiter kumbaga which one w- would you pick? Ano ba yung merits ng one over the other? Like technical recruitment and yung talagang bulk recruitment with uh, call center. With, with technical recruitment, ang challenge dun is the, the technology, technology language itself. Okay. Um, merong, merong mga tao mag apply uh, medyo hindi siya masyadong um, uh, tedious kasi medyo konti yung maipaprocess mo. Okay. Um, Pero mahirap doon is to identify one kasi medyo konti nga sa market. Okay. With the call center side naman, um, ang daming applicants, ang problem here is to really get the people that you need for the role kasi meron ding ibang skill sets na kailangan ka eh. Like for example, with the company that I, I work right now, for the company that I work right now, um, they, we, we need somebody for the financial side, okay. healthcare side. Okay. So hindi naman lahat ng call center na applicants mo merong financial no background. Okay. Uh-huh. When I was in a call center, ano ako eh, technical support, pero I I do technical support for remote controls. <laughs> <laughs> remote controls. I mean, it's wow. a... A technology before na medyo 
pinaghalo-halo nila yung functionality eh. You can okay. you can um, turn on your lights with a remote, you okay. can turn on your fireplace. Okay. Uh, shut the windows and everything. Para siyang Alexa. Alexa. Pero using a remote pa yung keypad wow. na malaki. Wow. So we troubleshoot that um pero ang tawag sa akin already a technical support. Okay. Diba? Ngayon ang technical support nag-evolve na. Eh. We're talking about what? TCP/IP concerns. Yes. We're talking about um I don't know, hardware, blue screen problems, and so on, di ba? So, um, ang, ang challenge dun sa call center hiring is really maraming applicants, pero with the lots of applicants that you have, um, kailangan mo ma-identify yung talagang fit for the role. Okay. So, so sa, sa dami na yun, mas maganda kung mapadaanan mo lahat. Pero syempre, minsan, hindi mo nakakausap yung iba kasi may nauna na nag-apply at na-process okay. mo na. Okay. So, yun din yung uh, medyo challenge dun is how to keep those applicants na hindi mo na-process na ma-process mo pa ulit. Kasi, ang bilis ng call center business eh. Um, yes, if you miss one applicant right now, they can be hired in two, three days uh, from a different company. Okay. Eh, yung palang hindi mo na-hire na yun is yung palang yung pinakamagaling, hindi mo oh. natawagan. Sayang, <laughs> di ba? Sayang. Oh. <laughs> yun nga, talagang very important yung speed when it comes to hiring. Eh, no? Pero ikaw, like, when talking to people, like, how do you distinguish na siya yung right candidate? Ano ba yung mga qualities? Ano ba yung mga, like, sa tone ba ng pananalita? Or what can you uh, say about like siya na yung tamang candidate how do you identify that well one, one of the things that uh, well at least my process I look at the resume first and okay. try to see if um, this person fits the the bill paper wise you know okay. based on the job description okay. and based on the skill set ngayon ang challenge to is to really get to know the person okay. now if he's applying for a call center job of course definitely he, he needs to speak um, I don't want to say native English pero at least he can he can uh, explain things in English okay. uh, good tone yung okay. medyo magandang pakinggan o sa sa tenga natin okay. kasi remember <laughs> ang call center job ano to eh may complaints dyan eh may complaints yes. may requests uh, and some of the people gets frustrated na dun pa lang sa AVR yung uh, please press 1, please press 2. Medyo matagal yung process. Eh. If, kung meron kang urgent, di ba? Meron yes. kang urgent, you have to wait, you have to... So medyo nakainis siya. And then, pag may sumagot sa'yo na medyo hindi din maganda yung tone, tone of voice or yung approach, baka you end up putting the phone down, getting okay. another agent. So yun yung isa sa call center. Um, pero sa IT side, it doesn't really require you know, people to speak fluent English yeah. uh, as long as they can carry themselves and explain um, uh, whatever they need to explain. Kasi yung IT ngayon, medyo, um, one of the jobs ng IT is may customer din sila in a way. Yes. And if you cannot explain how to, like IT support ka, i-remote mo yung computer, di ba? If you don't know how to explain it step by step, what the user would actually ex- see or experience, uh, Uh, baka magkagulo lang or hindi lang talaga masolve. So, at least, kaya niya mag-explain dun sa process step by step. That that will be fine. Okay. Yeah. And then, kumbaga, I would imagine, no, uh, siguro meron ka bang like, uh, on the top of your head, may mga blooper na... Actually, to be honest with you, maraming ganon. On a, on a daily basis, uh, merong, hindi naman sabihin na natin, hindi, paano ba, In, it's either hindi sila prepared or okay. maybe hindi sila in a proper time to take a call. Okay. Alam mo yun? Like, yeah. Kasi ngayon, ang daming distractions, eh, right? Correct. Like, uh, working from home, yeah. andyan ang family mo, may aso, may manok, may ganyan. <laughs> And then, you want the interview to to be good because you really want this job. Pero ang yeah. problem, you're already distracted. Okay. So, it's either um, you try to assess first yung ano ba, ano ba nangyayari, ano ba environment may ano sa maybe, I don't know, it's internet connectivity or mm-hmm. something before you decide. Pero, you know, thinking really hard for it. Kasi, ano eh, um, the reason why apply, people are applying for a job to you because they need a job. Yes. And uh, one of the things that I see, uh, at least on our end as a recruiter, uh, our responsibility is to really make a good match Okay. Uh, and, and, and and give people what they need which is a job ngayon yeah. kung medyo um, mag, mag-decide ka na because of what he replied to you na medyo malayo 
um, is- isipin mo muna kasi that's your um, paano ba explain parang yun yung yun yung isang responsibility na recruiter really uh, give them give them another chance maybe okay. isang may isang lutang answer try to paraphrase okay. your question yeah. baka naman pag biniba mo yung approach mo dun sa question mag-gets na niya. Pero pag ginawa mo na ng tatlong beses yun, I mean, doon ka na talaga mag Okay, next candidate na muna siguro. Thank you, John. Yes. So, ano din, eh, hindi lang siya sa uh, applicant side kasi minsan yung question hindi mo rin mag-gets eh. Diba? Okay, as an applicant side eh. Baka yeah. mamayang fault ko yun kasi sobrang uh, as a recruiter, minsan ang dating ko, pakula ko sa phone. Hi, my name is yes. David Hoffer. Parang yeah. ganun ganon di ba? So, uh-huh. medyo intimidating nga in a way kasi yung last name ko and yung tone ko, may feeling DJ kasi ito yes, mag-ass oh, oh, <laughs> Feeling DJ ako na parang I'm gonna ba- introduce a song and yeah. so on. Parang sobrang smooth. Yung interviews ko walang flow. Um, yeah. I- gusto ko kasi just to really get to know. Uh, and then eventually if I need to tackle yung mga uh, skills wise, dun ako medyo magsiserious. So, pero I want it to be at least light uh, conversation as possible. Uh, para din hindi kabahan yung aking kausap on the other side. Kasi I believe na pagka may, may pag-tense na yung kausap mo, hindi ka na talaga makakuha ng good answer. Eh. Yes, so, agree. I don't know, maybe kung, kung tumahol yung aso, you talk about, oh, you have a dog. Parang yeah. gano, to calm the person down at least. You have, what kind of dog do you have? And so on and so forth. May manok. Um, <laughs> try to ask, oh, are you breeding chickens or something? <laughs> so, medyo magiging light isang oh, tawa na na konti. Yung ganyan. And then, pag nakuha mo na yung loob niya on the phone, dyan ka na magpasok ng mga serious questions like uh, typical uh, projects, project-wise. Okay. Um, okay. yung, yung ano ginawa, may project siya, anong role niya doon sa project, ilang percent yung role niya ba para makomplete yung project and so on. Yung mga okay. ganong serious stuff. Pero initially, you get the, get the person's ano muna, um, calm the person down. Uh, even face-to-face ganun ako. If I can offer water, okay. if I can see that, you know, uh, buildings nowadays, I mean, of course, magko-commute ka. You go yeah. to one jeepney stop and then you walk. Yeah. Iinit ng araw. You would see that to the app with the applicant. Eh. Medyo, may uh, mga pawis-pawis dyan. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and naging applicants din naman tayo. Uh, yes, and correct. Then, pag upo mo, kausapin mo na naman ng mga, you know, hard questions, difficult yeah. questions, or, um, for sure, distracted pa yun kasi okay. medyo nahirapan siya doon sa community so calm her calm them down if you can offer water or juice and so on yeah you know do it okay. water is free in the office anyways you just have to provide them with co- water cups right yeah. which is what 50 centavos oh, and so on which yeah. is that's a good that's not so, yeah. so that, that's a good gesture eh, no? pero yeah, that's true that's true so with regards to I don't know like yung mga tips mo like do's and don'ts when talking to an applicant but well, one of one of the don'ts i should say is uh don't try to dig in with any personal matter um okay. i learned that from one of the companies that i joined it's a uh, uh, an american company it's not the company that uh, i met you it's okay. um parang ano ba it's one of the uh it's on the recruiter's handbook that you cannot ask questions that has to do with anything personal like okay. um paano ba? how many kids do you have okay. in a typical pinoy conversation lagi yun di ba? are you married how yes. many kids do you have uh where do you live and so on uh in, in that u.s company we're not we're not allowed or at least it's not being encouraged to ask questions about those kinds of things you focus on uh, the skills you focus, focus on the profile you focus on the job okay. um, that's one of the I should say na mezzo up until today uh, I, I keep I keep I keep that kasi I don't want to ano ba, some people really doesn't want to share especially Got now it. data privacy is one of the things that is our concern right yeah. uh, and when you're sharing those kinds of things um lamang ko na and if ever I go out I can most probably share it to another person and then <laughs> alam mo, takbo na ng iba. Pasa na ng pasa yung information, di ba? Yeah. So, I'm, I'm very careful on those kinds of things. Especially the, uh, I have an I have an applicant, um, I I forgot the name, but parang I mentioned, uh, I mentioned a guy's name. Okay. And then, uh, a girl stood up. And I was confused. Okay. So, um, I mean, we are not here to judge. Because of course. 
And, and and the thing is, ito pa eh, don't judge the person with the way they look. Kasi, okay. paano ba? I have one applicant, um, um, he was jogging around uh, the okay. vicinity of our building. Okay. He showed up in, in the interview, kasi we allow walk-ins eh. Got it. Wearing, uh, wearing a jogging pants. Okay. Um, was that rubber shoes? Okay. And kind of sweaty in a way. Okay. Pero, uh, uh, kasi pag naka shorts ka, you're not allowed to enter the of building course. again. So yeah. you have to be a little professional. Pero naka jogging pants siya, so allowed siya pumasok. So, na, kumaga sa akin na taon yung, yung applicant na yun. If I judge a character or a skill with the appearance alone, I mean, bagsak na agad yung tao. Okay. Parang ganun. Yeah. Pero what, what, what I did is, you know, treat it as a normal interview. Okay. okay. He, he might be looking like a, a jogger. Yeah. Okay, I offered him water kasi baka siyempre <laughs> after niya mag-jogging. Ano ang anong nangyari kasi doon? Uh, oh. While he's jogging around, yeah. um, he was browsing over some jobs. Okay. Alam mo yun, yeah. if you're tired jogging, nag-browse siya habang naglalakad, okay. ganyan. And then he saw uh, the building, the advertisement, and then tumingin siya, Uy, ito yung building. Yeah. Nag-walk-in siya. Okay. Wala siya nalang resume. Okay. So medyo challenging sa akin oh. yun. It's like interviewing somebody na wala kang basis, okay. parang gano'n. Pero, syempre, uh, experience na rin. Okay. Uh, binalikan namin from his, nagsimula kami sa college niya, okay. sa first job niya. Okay. Parang gumawa ako ng resume ng niya in my head. Okay. Oo, para mabuo lang yung profile niya. And eventually, nung pumasa siya sa akin, na interview, binigyan ko na exam, ang taas ng score. Wow. Sabi ko, di ba, kung ginudge ko na yung person with the way he looks and with that simple, simple ex uh, simple experience na medyo hindi ko inexpect um wala na eh sayang yung yung tao, tao. so pumasa siya mataas ang scores and then sabi ko uh, okay um i'm going to schedule you for final interview pero you have to email me your <laughs> first and this is my uh, calling card and so on and so forth oh. and, and the interview will not happen unless you send me your resume yeah, and then dun na naging formal na kami and okay. then i told him that you have to prepare for the interview showing up you have to you know, at least uh, prepare for how uh, konting paligo, konting yeah. <laughs> pa So, ayun, pumasa naman siya. Wow. I think um, he's still working in that company. Wow. Uh, I was with that company three, four years ago. Okay. And nandun pa rin siya. Kasi naging eventually friend ko rin sa Facebook. Updates, I so I can still see the may mga activities Updates, from that company yeah. na okay. uh, part pa rin siya and so on. So, just try to imagine kung medyo judgmental ako okay. na pakawalan ko yung tao na yun na would stay yeah. magtsatsaga doon sa company at magugustuhan niya magstay doon sa company so sayang siya yeah. uh, those, those, those are as you say one of the major um, major don'ts okay. with one of the, the do's that I should say like I mentioned a while ago um, um, be um, be accommodating to, oh. to your applicants especially yun nga, lalo na pag face-to-face, uh, alam mo na yung, yung ga, let's just say, galing pang kainta yun, <laughs> hindi nag-apply sa Makati. Yung commute alone is so stressful already. Um, right now, it might be via Zoom, di ba? Yeah, Pero just try to imagine also, meron external factors yan. Kaya yeah. pinili kong itong usapan natin medyo kind of late eh, yeah. para at least tulog na yung mga kapitbahay yung mga aso busog na <laughs> yun? yung mga manok medyo naghihintay na ng 5am yan uh, medyo mahimbing na yan pagdating 5am lagot na naman tayo sa nila so ganun siya so I, you have to consider those factors too um, uh, uh, malaki ang responsibility ng recruiter um, not just for the company pero meron siyang social responsibility okay. I, I just don't know how to explain it eh. pero yun nga um, kasi you can you can provide a you can you can change somebody else's life yes, life if, if you if you if you do your job well yeah. um alam natin na you know right now challenging times diba yeah. if marami pumasok sa na negativity interview pa lang medyo ikaw na yung negative yeah. Alam mo yung kailangan niya ng work, kinabahan sa'yo, alam mo oh, nang wala kang yeah. mapipiga kasi sobrang stress na niya. Oh. So you just have to be, a, uh, a com- you have to accommodate the person in a way that you have to treat them a little bit more like a friend yeah. while talking. Kunin mo yung loob niya kasi yeah. when the person opens up to you, you can bring out the best in that person. Okay. That's what I believe in. So that's one of the do's. Um, the do's uh, number one is to, is to, 
make them relax before you go into the business. Okay. Parang ganyan. Typical, a typical salesperson. Yeah. Diba? Bago ka magbenta, yeah. kukunin mo muna yung loob ng kliyente mo. Okay. Diba? Like, I don't know, uh, you bring the, the client out for dinner or coffee or whatever and then eventually you do business pag na palagay nga na yung, ah, yung loob niya nakuha mo na at yung medyo comfortable na rin, comfortable na rin siya sa'yo, yeah. then you talk business. So, ganun din in, in my interviews, at least my interviews, ganun siya. Kasi yun nga, um, I want to get to know your story yeah. and if your story is valid yeah. and I can see that, you know, your skills is pasok to sir, or maybe hindi 100% pasok pero I believe as a recruiter kaya kitang ipaglaban sa hiring manager I can okay. create a good write-up for you and defend you okay. um, and push for your applica- application forward I would do it because I, I was able to learn not, lots of things from you uh, and I know that you need the job and I know that you know you as a person na binigyan ko ng opportunity would love this job yeah. and would stay in that company maybe more than I did or yeah. I, w- I would do. Kasi ako medyo, um, syempre, um, marami kang connection eh. So, yeah. a friend calls up, you're already settled with the company, pero a friend will call you, David, I need you in my team. So, <laughs> what do you mean? So, alilipat na naman ako. Ganun, ganun. So, it, pero, yun nga, um, ang, ang point dun is, you know, um, just, just make friends with your applicants. It. it won't really hurt you. And then eventually, Kung hindi man sila pumasa, dahil may maganda silang experience sa'yo, they would search for you on LinkedIn. Yes. They would add you on LinkedIn as yes. a friend. Network. Then when, when two, three years time, medyo nag-enhance yung experience nila. Yeah. Let's just say, gumaling sila lalo. Tapos kailangan mo ng summary like them. Yeah. You, already, you already have, as recruiter, you already have one candidate to yes. process. Which is yung na-experience, na-meet mo two, three years ago. Na gumaling siya lalo. And then dahil um, okay naman siya sa'yo, magre-reply siya sa'yo. Like, hey, I need somebody for like this. Are you interested? Yeah, hi, Sir David, and so on. I'm interested. So how should I, how should we do this? And so on. Yeah. So you already have one applicant. Yeah, that's um, good. So that's, siguro, that's one of the things that, ano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think to add on to what you said, David, I think yun niya, uh, recruiters are very crucial, are, are very vital kasi kayo yung face of the company. So kayo yung window. Like, when we look at the company as uh, as applicants, kumbaga yun nga yung our experience with you, yung initial experience is what would make us either join or either uh, not join with the company. So I think very important ang role ng recruiters. And yun nga, ikaw yung isa sa mga benchmark eh, with your experience ay nga. Talagang sought after kang recruiter kasi alam nila na the way you do uh, recruitment is really kumbaga parang it's an art form na eh with, with you kumbaga alam mo na sa sobrang daming experience it's already parang ano ba yung clockwork or it's already automatic na you will do good eh no? pero are there things na you think you can still improve like you, you mentioned you uh, are looking into some of the process so with the recruitment process itself meron ka ba ba sa tingin mo na the industry should should improve well how should i say this the process needs to be improved definitely because uh it varies from one company to the other you might okay. be joining a a fast-paced startup company if I'm oh, process known. Of course. Um, uh, you are part of maybe a 180-year company or something <laughs> like that. So just try to imagine the process known. Uh, iba din siya, kind okay. of old school in a way. Uh, all pros, uh, all applicant needs to go to, I don't know, three, four interviews wow. and so on. Maybe, I don't know, we have to lessen the interviews and okay. we have to lessen, uh, you have to lessen the assessment kasi I agree. Um, so tiring. So, how should I say this? It's also tiring for an applicant uh, to work on huge amount of testings. Remember the interview alone. Yeah. For me, it's a, some sort of like an assessment, and like, well, it's an assessment, and some sort of like an examination too. I'm examining your personality and so on. Now, uh, some uh-huh. people, when when you give them a link for the test. Um, iba kaya feeling ko bumabagsak because they don't know how to 
work on the test. Medyo okay. bago sa kanila. Yeah. Um, they might be good on paper, their resume, pero when they see the the actual testing, um, medyo bumabagsa kasi they don't know how to work on the test. Eh. So, there should be a proper explanation for from the recruiter on how to do the test. That's what, one of the things that I do also. Okay. Um, pero the way we... In, need to interview uh, we need to work on the improve on maybe yun nga. the only thing is the process um if and the examination too we have so to sure give them a little bit to find <laughs> a little bit to wag masyadong mahigpit ang ano ang selection process okay, masyadong okay. kasi remember ito ah sorry sir sir chris alam ko you're a hiring manager too, pero i kind of don't like it when a hiring manager say to will tell me I need somebody plug and play. No. I know that's ideal for the company. You put somebody there kasi alam niya yung gagawin niya. Pero sa akin kasi, um, and based on my experience, um, ano There's to? no such thing eh. <laughs> give, 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 give somebody a chance to learn. Okay. Diba? Kasi yeah. pag nilagay mo natin, alam niya na yung gagawin, gagawin niya for two years eh. Yes. At least, I don't know, put, put a person there na mer- merong konting hindi pa niya alam or bago yes. sa kanya. And then you try to let the person learn from experience. Okay. Then eventually, yung kailangan mong hybrid, binubuo mo na pala dun sa hinire mo ngayon. Parang ganon. Okay. So, ko, yung mga examinations kasi sobrang, ayaw ko, um, well, wala. Actually, um, tama really, ka dun. Kasi from the, well, from my experience, ha, Uh, I have good batting average in terms of interviews. Pero pagka nag-exam yan, hindi ako pumapasa talaga sa company yun. Kasi hindi ko talaga sinasagutan yung exam. Kasi like for example, they're hiring me for a particular position and then ang ipapa-exam sa akin, statistics. So, kumbaga, talaga, hindi ko siya sasagutan na sa applicant. So, I think, uh, uh, well, from a recruiter's point of view, I think that's one of the process na Hopefully, uh, well, with a lot of people seeing this video, can understand na mabilis talaga ang world ng recruitment eh. Kung baga, yung one day or even an hour earlier can make or break eh, minsan. Kasi, well, we, we know, di ba, yung mga applicants, minsan two or three companies at the same time ang ina-apply eh. So, yung the difference between an hour a day, very crucial yun eh, in signing the offer eh. So, siyempre, yun nga, you have to build a good relationship as a recruiter, pero at the same time, uh, it's all about who comes in first, or kumbaga, who, who has the better offer, or who has the better, yun nga, like you said, the better opportunity to learn within the company. So, yun, that's a good tip na that you mentioned, that, that's a good process change na iksian yung hiring process. Uh, tignan mo rin yung value ng candidate. Ayun nga, syempre, pagpasok niya, if he's gonna learn something, he's gonna be motivated. Eh. So, I think, coming from you, that, that's a very good point. Uh, and ako, syempre, from my end then as a hiring manager, kumbaga, I have to understand that. And ayun nga. So, ikaw ba, meron ka bang instances wherein yung hiring manager, ikaw, don't see ito. Or, for example, nagbigay siya ng JD. And then, sampu na yun na interview mo pero parang hindi pa rin <laughs> wala siyang napipili so may mga ganong cases ka ba and how were you able to resolve that? Yeah, uh, before I jump into that question ay add lang ako dun sa pre- a little, yung konti dun sa topic natin may na-appreciate ako na hiring manager we talk about assessment ah. yeah. uh, meron kaming standard assessment pero she came up with uh, an assessment very short let's okay. just say uh, 30 questions Pero, nung binasa ko yung, ano niya, talagang pasok siya. I mean, okay. pag nasagutan mo itong mga to, uh, you scored 20 out of the 30. Eh, you're the person for the job. Okay. Parang ganon. So, she came up with that. Uh, tapos kaya lang, medyo tedious sa akin kasi I have to talk to it using Zoom. Alam mo yun? Naka, naka-up sa Zoom yung exam. Habang okay. sinasagutan nila, okay. pinip, nilipat ko sa kabilang page and kabilang page. Ito, took us around uh, an hour and 30 wow. minutes to complete kasi medyo may computation and formulas yeah. eh so okay naman pero nung no, no, nakita ko talaga sabi ko ito yung ganito yung exam Maganda. I mean okay. the one really the one that would really tell you if you scored at least 50% alright eh what no questions 
you are the right person for the role. <laughs> Pero the problem is, meron pa kaming, you know, naka-set up na structured examination that they need to take. So, dagdag na naman yun. Yun lang yung medyo ano doon. Pero that's one of the things that I appreciate from from one of the managers that I'm helping right now is with that kind of uh, process that she put in. Uh, medyo additional sa process pero I appreciate kasi yun nga, ang galing, ang galing. Pag, okay. <laughs> yun nga, dun, dun talaga makita mo okay to. Parang okay. ganun. So, to your question, uh, next question is um, ano to, yung medyo hindi nakakapili na hiring manager? Oh yes. So, for example, sa, like, kunyari, nagbigay siya ng JD, tama naman yung binibigay mong applicants, pero, yun nga, uh, he's not able to pick. So, how do you handle those uh-huh. type of hiring managers as a recruiter? Ano ba yung... Well, well most of the... Well, maraming ganun, <laughs> or maybe... <laughs> <laughs> maraming ganon or medyo may JD ka na tas nakapag-provide ka na ng tatlo may hahanapin iba na wala doon sa JD uh, may ipapasok na tools or whatever so syempre as a recruiter pag bibigyan ko hanap ako ng some, somebody na merong ganon okay. tas eventually um, may kita na hindi talaga pwedeng pagsamahin yung mga skills na hinahanap okay. um, it's either you be honest with the hiring manager that this is what we have in the market um, yeah. we have to decide where do we need to focus on it should be on this side or this side or um, pasok naman yung binibigyan mong profile pero uh, hindi sila makapili I don't know why maybe I don't know they have a they have a culture uh, within the group that they have to protect uh, you have to be honest and, and try to, to learn or try to know uh, okay. uh, bakit hindi makapili okay. if, if uh, hindi sila makapagbigay ng straight answer sometimes you need the help of your manager to boss and need your help. <laughs> so, <laughs> yun yung escalation process, no? Okay. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. Kung baga, I think, um, nung natawa ka, alam ko na yung experience of, kasi syempre, yun nga, between recruitment, yung talaga yung minsan na, well, hindi naman problem, pero minsan yun nga, hiring manager, parang gusto nila ng sobrang perfect na, wala naman talaga, it doesn't exist, eh. So, yun nga, as hiring managers, we need to be flexible, eh, no? So, and recruiters, you need to also push us in direct direction. And yun nga, tama yung sinabi mo na it's, it's the market, ito yung market ngayon. So, uh, hindi naman sa you should settle, pero, uh, yun nga, yung opportunities for growth ko nando doon. Kung baga, uh, as a hiring manager, it's our job na once na we hired. Pero, siguro ito na lang. Uh, kasi ito yung minsan na as applicants, hindi namin na did, nadodraw yung line. Eh. So, saan ba natatapos yung uh, responsibility nyo during the hiring? Kapag ka sa first day na ba namin or up until ma-regular yung employee? Kung bag, ikaw, ano ba ang uh, take mo on that? Like, yung responsibility as a recruiter, when does it start? When does it end? Well, for me, um, ang responsibility talaga ng recruiter would end when you already ask the person to sign the contract okay. and the person signed the contract or okay. offer. That's where the job of a recruiter stops. Pero, yun nga, dahil um, ibang processes, ibang process from one company to the other, merong recruiters na nage-extend up to first day. You have okay. to request for a laptop, you have to request for an ID, okay. um, ipaprocess mo yun sa system and everything. Uh, tapos ikaw yung magwo-welcome pag yung first day nila you bring them to yeah I have a company uh, I was able to join a company like that kasi we were pushing for ano eh for uh, applicant and employee experience so yeah. lahat yun dadaanan mo pati yung pagsak pagbigay ng ID on their first day uh, okay. ako yung nagpo-process ng picture taking nila on the first para okay hi welcome to I forgot I'm not gonna say the company. No, don't, don't say to the, the company. company. Yeah. Okay, our first, the first thing that we need to do is to take pictures for your ID. So the security is in the lobby, <laughs> left side. So please fall in line, and then when you're done, you go back to me here. Okay. Then we'll proceed to the orientation room, something like that. So then after the orient na sila, si security na pupras ng ID, and then uh, over lunch time you you go inside, and then you distribute the IDs and stuff like that. And then uh, there's also one of the things that I did way back for orientation I conduct orientation also for um, for ano to yung first day nila to okay. talk about the hiring process if there's a 
person that you want to bring into the company as a referral, how to do it, and so on and so yeah. forth. Uh, tapos, meron ako na, na, na join a company up to fifth month, I think. Okay. Kasi they want to monitor um, yung, yung attrition. Um, okay. Uh, of higher to regularization okay. uh, medyo kasama kami into evaluation and stuff like that okay. pero for me really the jobs should start when the applicant already signed the contract okay. that's about it you focus on another recruitment okay. and so on so okay. well, medyo true. iba iba process iba, ibang company um, you just have to learn how to adjust to it as a recruiter kung medyo um, madami na you tell your boss parang you know we have to hire somebody or something <laughs> to do this but also from the malawak na yung role, yung role ano, no. you, have to, you just have to let them know hindi, pero, pero, tayo, they okay kung hindi naman and then, yeah. pero thank you for clearing that up kasi yun yung misconception or uh, kumbaga from applicants yung kung ano yung role kasi kumbaga parang sa amin ikaw yung kausap namin eh so mm-hmm. saan ba natatapos yung responsibility mo with us so, I mm-hmm. think that's good mm-hmm. So, siguro, ano na lang, well, last two questions kasi, ano, siguro, on your end, uh, ano ba yung common na uh, yung pet peeve mo, yung sa tingin mo that you can say to the applicant sa dapat hindi nyo to ginagawa during the, well, during the process. So, ano ba yung mga, or things that you don't like that applicants are doing right now, that they should ah. change? <laughs> Very, very basic, Sir Chris, is uh, one of my questions too in the interview. What do you know about the company? Oh, okay. Very basic. <laughs> very, very basic. Um, ano yun? Parang nag apply ka sa company, pero hindi mo inalam yung background o ano yung ginagawa nila or something. Okay. Pero gusto mo maging part ng group. Oh, parang ganon. Yeah. Parang, paano ba? <laughs> You want to be a basketball player, pero you're playing for a badminton team. Parang ganun siya yung dating sa akin eh. So, dun alone, parang... Right now, we have we have the internet. You know, every every information is pretty much available. Uh, just browsing on the website, just try to learn what they do. There a little bit of history maybe, or something, you know, the the corporate social responsibilities that they did, that the yeah. company is actually doing. Because of course, we're going to be part of it in the future, right? Yeah. Um, and it's exciting um, to be part of. So, yun man lang, alamin mo ng konte para at least, pag tinanong ka ng recruiter or maybe ng hiring manager, why do you join, why do you want to join the company? Some would say, um, I like the way you you uh, you know your events, especially the social responsibility events that you have, corporate social responsibility. Because uh, one of the things that I wanted to do also is to help people. And of I course. when I joined this company, hindi ko man siya magawa on my personal time, pero magagawa ko siya while I'm working with this company. Yun, maski yun lang small portion na yun ma-incorporate nila bakit nila gusto mag-join. Okay. Or at least plain and simple, why do you want to join the company? It's near my house. Something yeah. like that. Yung yeah. iba kasi, why do you want to join the company? And dahil pang sinasabi and so on and so forth. Be also, just be honest also, why do you want to join the company? Okay. Because you pay well. Okay. Plain and simple. Okay. You play well, you have good benefits. I, I can see your HMO, it's on day one. I'm married with you know three kids and stuff like that and I know it, they, they can be covered that's okay. why I want to join your company so I'll do my best just to keep this job because I know in the future if I need you know HMO coverage yeah I can have it available with with this company and so on you know um, don't show also, also don't sugarcoat anything okay. you know especially a recruiter like at least me um, I, I I want honesty okay. to be I want honesty. I want um, transparency in, in, in everything, at least um, that I do. Especially also, that's one I what one of the things that I expect also with an applicant. And remember, kami yung gatekeeper ni company, eh, yeah. right? So right. Um, if ngayon palang binobola mo na ako, alam mo yon. Tapos napam na bola mo naman ako. Alam, paano na yon pag uh, nandung ka na sa actual environment? So okay. bakabulahin mo lang kami lahat and stuff like that. Uh, compared to your being honest with me and being honest with you, um, that this is the job, this, are, this is the culture, this is what to expect. Uh, para alam, pagpasok mo dun, um, you won't feel, 
you know, a stranger to the org. Kumbaga, si recruiter, ginawa niyo na yung pag-orient sa'yo in a small a small way na this is what to expect. Ito yung, ito yung culture namin. We're fast-paced, but it's, it's family-oriented. Something like that. So, yun. Yun siya. Okay. Did I answer your question? <laughs> yeah, you answered it very well, David. Gusto kong ikwento eh. Ang daming kwento oh, sa recruitment. So, eh. siguro, dalawa uh, na lang pala. I have another question before my last question. Ito I think is very important mm-hmm. din eh. So, ano ba sa tingin mo ang do's and don'ts in terms of salary negotiation? So, paano nakikipag-negotiate sa'yo yung applicant? Is it okay for them to parang in the middle change their mind? Uh, Kung baga, nagsabi na sila ng amount and then they change their mind. So, ikaw ba? Ano ba ang your take on the do's and don'ts in terms of salary negotiation? Well, uh, to be honest, there's a, with salary negotiation kasi, there's a, um, ano ba, there's a, an acceptable amount of increase market-wise. Okay. So, maybe, if you're expecting a higher compensation from the company that you're applying for, just try to ask something that is, that would fall on what is acceptable in the market. Kasi some people would ask, I don't know, um, let's just say, ah, <laughs> let's just say, kumikita lang siya ng 20,000 ngayon and he, he would be asking for 40,000 and so on. It's okay. not, it's not re- reasonable anymore. There's yeah. a, you ask your friends around, what is the acceptable um, increase for somebody to join a company? I don't know, 20, 25% or 30% yes, maximum. Correct. And most of the company doesn't really go to the maximum kasi uh, maraming factors yun, di ba? If yes. you offer the maximum, ang wala ka na makuha increase next year kasi yes, maximum mo na yung nakuha mo. Yep. So, just try, with all applicants, if you're listening right now, just be reasonable <laughs> with what you're asking for. Uh, um, kasi, I don't know, um, or kung alam nyo in the first place na hindi ma-offer sa inyo ng company yung gusto nyo, wag na kayo mag-apply. Yeah. It would just be a waste of time for you and a waste of time for the company. Just be reasonable with the off- with the offer or asking. And the company also, if they really, really like you, they're gonna give you reasonable amount. Okay. Uh, yun naman yun mag-guarantee ko. Um, in eh, all the companies that I am part of, I was able to join, talagang pagka pasok ka sa profile, and they know that you can make, um, you can bring lots of things on, on in, in the company. Yeah. They're gonna give you a responsible amount, and of course, increase a responsible, a reasonable, sorry, a reasonable amount. Yun lang, just be reasonable. Wag naman masadong heaven and earth. Na parang gusto mo na maging boss agad yung sweldo mo. Wag mo na ganon. Kasi kami, eh, ako sir Chris, de ba tayo? Yeah. At sa, a, ano, dumaan tayo ng step one eh. Yes. Na muna yung ginawa mo, earning a small amount, na dagdag responsibility no, dagdag ni yes. salary mo uh-huh. and so on. So. Try to, I don't know. Yeah, yun lang. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that, that's that, that's good advice, uh, David. So yeah, thank you for that. So, siguro na lang with all your experience, with all your, uh, kung maga yung accolades and all the things that you have gone through. At this point, uh, how can you define uh, success uh, for you? What does success mean for you? Well. For me, success, paano ba? Um, I have a big goal kasi. Um, okay. So, until I reach that big goal, okay. feeling ko hindi ako successful. Pero, <laughs> uh, the way I look at it now, um, I have to celebrate the small success. With My boss calls it, ano eh, small wins. Okay, small wins. Small wins. Okay. Uh, you have to appreciate yung small wins. Kasi, um, before you reach that goal or in the success that what we're look uh, that we want to define your your ultimate goal may steps din yon yeah so if you don't uh, appreciate your small wins hindi mo ma-reach yung bigger win mo eh yeah just the small wins mo may siguro sa process may anong, a little failure that would actually make you think and step back yeah so pag na-reach mo na yung step back stage and then naisip naisip mo na yung next step mo, that's a small win. Okay. Kasi, kumbaga, um, eto na naman ikaw eh, you want to reach your goal again eh. Kumbaga, naisip na paano gagawin. So, yung nag-step back ka, pero another step forward, another small win in reaching your end end game as as I want to <laughs> really, 
I want to define it, my end game, my goal. Yeah. Uh, yun nga, I appreciate your small wins at saka um, define your define your small steps to okay. to achieve that 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 bigger goal that you wanted. Um yun, uh, kasi pag Ayaw ko, mapo-frustrate ka eh. Ayaw yeah. ko, ayaw mo frustrate eh. Uh, na hindi mo na-release yung mga gusto mo. Got it. Um, pero yun nga, merong isang, paano ba, hindi siya motivational speaker, actually comedian siya, sabi niya, um, if you're really gonna want to see if you're successful, okay. try to look back kung ano na yung mga napagdaanan mo, okay. ano na yung narating mo ngayon. That will pretty much tell you that, yes, uh, I'm successful in a way. Uh, because I was able to um, surpass those challenges from college pa lang, di ba? High school yeah. pa lang. Yeah. Um, tapos, nagaharap ka pa lang ng first job mo. Ngayon, pang, I don't wanna say, pero pang, <laughs> sa iba, pang third job nila. Pero if you're gonna to really think about it, yung mga, when you get accepted to a job, that's a small win. Yeah. Nag-stay ka for two years, that's a, that's a, you know, small win. Then somebody wants to get you, Yeah. Uh, for a certain role, that's another win. Yeah. So, as far as I can see, we're succeeding on a daily basis. So we just have to be, you know, at least grateful with with those success that we experience on a daily basis. Pero of course, you have to have a, a, a an end game, a goal, yeah. what you want to achieve in a certain period of time. You know, at least it might be a retirement, I don't know, retirement business or retirement job or okay. whatever you want. Dapat meron ka lang end game para at least if you, if you're gonna be eyeing for the things that you do, you want to do something else, in line pa rin siya dun sa goal na, na gusto mong manating in the future. Wow. Yun lang. Oh yeah, thank you, David. That, that's very well said and ako, I really appreciate uh, yung time and yung effort and yung knowledge mo in sharing about the recruitment experience I would imagine maraming matututunan yung ating mga viewers and ako I well it's already uh, <laughs> a long conversation but it's a happy conversation because yeah, I think yung knowledge mo and yung experience mo is really something that uh, well we are blessed to be shared with that knowledge so yun lang kumbaga with that said uh I would like to thank you so much, uh, David, and kumaga, well, as always, nya, uh, stay safe, uh, stay healthy, and uh, well, good luck uh, on your bigger goals. <laughs> episode. So yeah, again, David, thank, thank you, you so much, and stay safe, and stay healthy, and yeah, we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much. Soon. Sure. Okay, bye. -bye. bye.